up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am out here in Sarasota right now. Um, we are fishing, I'm doing an inshore excursion. With my man, what's your first name again? Matt. Matt, that's right, Matt. And hey Matt, what's uh, what's your uh, what's your charter's name? Uh, out here, Inshore Attic Charters. Inshore Attic Charters. Guys, if you're in Sarasota, he's awesome. Easy to talk to, very uh, comfortable riding in his boat. He's not going to hold me hostage for seven hours, so um, we're hoping to get on some uh, decent fish today. It's a little chilly. A little chilly is probably a, a, a false statement. It's actually freezing here in Florida. It started out about 45 degrees, so the bite's going to be slow, but hopefully we'll get on some. Stay tuned. It should be a good episode. Jesus. So I worked at Walmart at one spot the time and they there was this they basically a screw crew, a bunch of four girls, pretty hot girls. Yeah. yeah. And they love baseball players. Oh yeah, dude. Sarasota was like a breeding ground. Oh. So, yep. Something. Small. But... Ten fish. Oh. That's a nasty looking fish there. Got some teeth can I grab it or? Yeah, you can grab it. I mean, you really gotta, because they'll squirm on you almost yeah. like a snake. Oh, they slimy too? Not, not terribly, but like I said, you can see oh, them too. Oh, yeah. Far. Dude, that's, that's the difference between. <laughs> uh, what the hell kind of fish? Or freshwater fishing and something's trying to kill you in this water. <laughs> Is the gill plates on a lot of these? Yeah. Things, you know saying? Just that, that gill plate would do it. Cut you up. Yeah. Hey, at least we're not skunked. Oh, oh something's just smoked me. Oh, came back. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh they're chasing. Got something. Something smoky. <laughs> Little grouper. Can you mouth lift these or no? No, I wouldn't. So what I do is I'll tuck, because the plates are sharp, I'll tuck my finger right into that right gill. Right underneath that gill? Yep. Oh yeah, he's got some teeth mm -hmm. on him. Teeth and gill plates. There we go. Smoke me. You like fishing in the keys? Oh god damn it. Yeah, I absolutely love it down there. I've never. Yeah. That might have been. What is that? I want to say it's a god dang, you gotta be kidding me. What is that? This, this is probably the biggest pinfish I've ever seen in my entire life. That's a pinfish? Yeah. Look at the size of that pinfish. Kind of almost looks like a. Uh, it's a pinfish. Really? I, that's not what I thought a pinfish was. 
I thought a pinfish was like a. Uh, Usually a big one's like the size of a little bigger than this. Yeah. Thing, you know what, I'm what is it? 10 inches? <laughs> sardines move out of here, that's going to be the dominant shrimp and pinfish. Oh, right. something, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a very subtle bite. Like, they grab it and kind of run with it, and then you don't, you don't even know you got something until you're, unless you're taught. Shadow is dark spot. What is it? Oh yeah. Decent sized little grouper there. When can you uh, eat those? Right now, but they gotta be 24. 24? Oh, I see it now. That was the most subtle bite ever. Cuda? How oh, in the heck? What's that? Yeah, I think you can probably deal with that one. He's barely hooked. He's off. Got him. Uh, that's how you catch a fish without touching it. Oh man, did you see that last bite? So unbelievable. The day was so cold. I mean, 45 degrees on the water up north is miserable, much less down south. Um, my hands were just simply just frozen. We used some cut bait, put it on a circle hook with, a, I think, 60 pound um, mono, dropped it in, let it sit there. And you could feel these pinfish just nibbling away, nibbling away. And then so you, after that would happen, then you'd get the big bite. And that big bite just basically just broke me off on that last little bit there. It was so awesome. It like was pretty intense. You can kind of see the rod shake towards the tail end of the video there. Uh, unfortunately, the next fish I caught was a uh, grouper. Uh, it was uh, probably similar to the one I caught before that. 
didn't get it on the GoPro because the GoPro's batteries just crapped out on me. And of course I forgot the cord I needed to charge everything. So, um, yeah, fishing on the water is never easy. And then when you add a GoPro and a camera and all this other elements, it just makes it more tough. Anyway, I want to have a special thanks to Matt with, uh, um, inshore addict in Sarasota, Florida. I'll link his, uh, his page below. It was a great deal, 250 bucks. And the guy takes you out all day long. We had a great time and he was super cool, easy to talk to. As I said earlier in the video, taught me a lot of stuff. I didn't know because I've never actually done an inshore trip, done lots of deep sea stuff, but never have done an inshore trip. I would equate that very similar to like bass fishing. Biggest difference is you can catch like 20 different species. So uh, we were using a gulp, uh, basically it looked like a little shrimp, which uh, you'll see probably popping up right around here somewhere at this point. Um, and very inexpensive bait on an eighth ounce jig head, just like I would do trying to catch, um, you know, walleye up north. Very similar to that style of fishing. You just throw it out there, uh, you know, kind of just pop, reel it in, pop, reel it in. It was just kind of bizarre because I don't do that with spinning reels a lot. So I had to get the hang of that. Plus it was so cold I couldn't feel my fingers, which made it more difficult. Anyway, it was a great time, guys. I suggest doing that if you're ever down in Florida. Certainly beats deep sea fishing. Granted, you may not be able to eat a lot of this, but um, in deep sea, and you're just kind of sitting there trolling unless you do shark fishing or, or you know do some different kinds of fishing. I just thoroughly enjoyed that, and I hope to do that again here real soon. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, stay tuned. I got some other videos down the pipeline. While I was in Sarasota, did a lot of uh, reminiscing because I used to live down there. And uh, I got a baseball video coming out soon, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you on the next one.